Hello students! Welcome to Mr. Cruz's uh, physical education class. Let's get started today. Alright, so my favorite thing from the article is um, how uh, reading aloud sparks curiosity and like just a will to learn. And you know, that's what uh, this uh, book right here that I'll be reading, it's called uh, Making Our Own Fun. And basically this book is my favorite because it's just like when you have nothing, you got to make fun somehow. You got to just do what you got to do for fun. And that's kind of what physical education is about. It's just having fun, doing things, sports, anything. So um, let's get started. Dear friends of the good old days, Janice and I sat on a park bench on the village square of our country seat a couple of years back. It was a summer day, wonderfully hot in fact. We had been shopping and stopped for an ice cream cone under vernant maples that provided shady relief from the afternoon sun. When we were youngsters, we had both spent our share of hours around the square, playing safely with our parents while they shopped and went downtown. We was all about the town. We played on the old bandstanded with friends, roamed sidewalks that converged at the courthouse, or took in the matinee at the Lyric Theater on the north side of the square. As we sat there, trying to make sure that our melted ice cream didn't make its way to our wrists, we were struck with the absence of children. In our days, youngins, as we were called, were everywhere. The air peeled with our laughter. The yells of boys and squeals of girls spiced the center of town and made it well alive. I wondered aloud at the too tranquil scene. Janice said she figured that the kids were at home in an air-conditioned isolation, surrounded with television, computers, and video games. They obviously had a reason to come out and play. Our conversation turned to how we made our own fun back in the good old days. That was the genesis of this book. Old playmates reminiscing about youth and all of the good times ready for reaping, it was easy for us to remember the ways we created fun. At first, we were never bored. It seemed we never lacked for something to do. I can remember but once uttering those famous last words, I'm bored. I swore I'd never let that happen again. There was always fun out there for kids with fertile minds. The games were played were simple and needed little technology. Whether it was a group game like Red Rover or Mumpledy Peg with your best friend, our games pulled us together and set of the joystick pounding isolation of today's video games. We made our own fun on a shoestring with little money. We learned how to salvage good times from the recycle bin. I think the most fun I ever had was discovering how to make games out of an old stick, a ball, or a string, or a recycled Montgomery Ward catalog. When it comes to toys, our favorite things were the few store-bought ones we had. Simple but sturdy. A favorite doll, sled, or yo-yo toys, we had special places in the hearts of children who had so few. We didn't have toy boxes, we didn't have enough toys to warrant that. Radio, movies, and later television provided us with sporadic glimpses of a world away from our neck of the woods. There was enough for us to develop heroes, and heroines from Tom Mix to Shirley Temple, but not so much that it killed the magic of the moment. Now that's entertainment. Janice and I left the park bench that day, knowing we wanted to share this collection of memories with you. Neither heat nor cold could keep us from enjoying life and the wonder of youth. Lack of money never meant lack of adventure. So join us as we remember the good old days when we made our own fun. We were never bored. Back in the good old days, we were never bored. I'm sure those of younger generations cannot fathom that statement. After all, the modern uh, accoutrements of boredom prevention, television, video games, computers, and the like were at the Flash Gordon ser serial dreams. No, we were never bored for two very simple reasons. First, boredom was not allowed. I didn't have to utter the words, Mama, I'm bored. All I had to do was look bored, and she or daddy had a, her and daddy had a sure cure for the affliction. 
and growing season, and growing season, garden rows could always be weeded, hoed, or cultivated. 